up, Gemini Gate? Happy Monday, you guys. All Gemini placements, take what resonates. Leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box on the website. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes. Hit that subscribe, y'all. Are greatly appreciated. All right. So let's see what is going on with you today. My social medias are in the description box, y'all. And those are my only social medias. Once I reach my new, um, my next uh, milestone, my next subscriber milestone, I will have some type of giveaway, but it'll be on Instagram and TikTok. So make sure y'all are following me there because it won't be via YouTube. Okay. Okay. So, um, I don't know why I just didn't stop at one. So y'all know I butcher names. I think this is Sekame. <laughs> And then this one is be strong, all right? This says you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome, okay? So um, let me find the book and see if uh, Isis, so we pulled Isis for the first time ever. <laughs> the first time ever. Let's see. Uh, so the book finds Isis, but not the one I need interesting interesting um okay so we might have to skip over this part because i don't see this in here um here's sedna uh sedna is infinite supply okay and this one is you are supplied uh for today in all of your tomorrows so love that so make sure that you always remember that you are um you are tapped in and tuned in you have a supply to infinite uh to source so that is infinite resources you guys and then we have isis which this is a, a part of my name actually um gene isis when you break down my name you see this at the end of it um, so this is past life and this is a situation involves your past life memories. Okay. Um, where is this at? Sekme. Sekme. I, I always struggle with this one. Even when I was uh, studying, I did like a, a report when I was in college on, um, on different goddesses and I still always struggle with that name. All right. So, um, a message. This is a message. See yourself as strong and victorious. Don't complain about anything. Don't blame anyone for your condition, okay? You're the embodiment of strength, not victimhood. As you rise above the old tendencies and see yourself in the new light of beautiful feminine strength, your life will automatically shift in miraculous ways. You'll attract new opportunities, forms of abundance, and relationships to help you manifest your highest potential. Being drawn being strong means seeing yourself in the most favorable light that you can imagine. Be real, allow yourself to feel genuine emotions, but most of all, be strong. Various meanings of the card. Don't underestimate yourself. Don't yield to pressure or temptation. Avoid complaining or indulging in negative thinking. Engage in weight training exercises to make your body stronger. Oh, that's the first time I've ever seen like one of them talk about actual like physical exercise. So that's dope. So, um, Sekhme, listen, y'all, <laughs> the Egyptian sun goddess, oh, that's right, she is a sun goddess, is a fiery protector. She's married to the Egyptian deity, Ptah. Uh, her name means strong and mighty. She's connected with lions, symbolizing her fiercely protected, uh, protective nature, and sometimes appears with a lion's head in a human woman's body. Call upon her, her to, uh, to shore up your strength and power, okay? So, I love this. Like, I love this. So, some of you guys are needing to kind of tap into your courage, tap into your um, your strong feminine side, okay? Just people think feminine is, is soft and weak, and it's not in no way, shape, or form, okay? Um, let's see. Let's check out Isis, y'all. These words are tiny, too, but... I don't know, I'm kind of killing it today. 
So various meanings of Isis, get a past life regression to gain insights and answers. Ancient fears from the past um, are surfacing right now. That's a typo in here. You've known the person you're inquiring about in a past life. Mm -hmm. Your current situation relates to a childhood issue. Okay, Isis is also about creation. So, um, but it has a lot to do with childhood and things like that. So I feel like in this five, wow, uh, some of you either have Leo in your chart or you have a Leo around you, a significant Leo energy around you. Um, Cause this card always reminds me of, of Leo. And then we saw that King of Wands there. So let's see what is going on here with you. Gemini's so we have the fool mm -hmm. and we have the empress again see we saw that several times in the last reading some of you may need some self-care um but I do feel like a lot of you guys are learning how to take care of yourselves and I love it uh at least you should be um Gemini's you may also be attracting a lot of suitors to you um just based on your energy also, there may be some some of you guys bringing children into the world, Wheel of Fortune. So, you know, if that ain't what you want, I'd be careful. <gasps> okay, I okay, I'll put these back in here, but I'd be very careful with this, uh, Gemini's, unless that's mm, unless that's what you want. The Sun, which is also Leo, something's changing drastically for you. Ace of Cups, Two of Swords. Uh, <sighs> but this could also be like a rebirth for you, Gemini. It's not necessarily like a physical child, but like a rebirth for you. Um, you creating something. You creating the, the life that you desire. You creating um, a new you. But this is what the card is talking about. And, and I've told you guys in, in many cases and in many other videos that how you see yourself matters. So if you see yourself as... You know, oh, I'd never attract good partners. Oh, I'd never, uh, I'd never have money. And, uh, and that's that's exactly how you are going to uh, show up in the world, Gemini's, okay? But if you see yourself as uh, prosperous and you see yourself as attracting the best of the best and, and attracting the things that you desire, then that is what will happen ultimately. And we have all major arcana, which is insane. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. Some of you are about to meet someone. Two of Cups. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm also seeing the Two of Pentacles. I saw the Fool too again. So, yeah, this is a past life uh, situation for some of you. Some of you may need to move forward and pass something, but you may feel a little bit stuck in doing so. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. You're not stuck if you feel like you are. Your money situation is changing, but you I feel like Gemini's a lot of you, Ace of Cups, you don't know how much power you actually have. Oh, the Ace of Cups is here too. Some of you have new love. Yep. You have a new lover here. New connection. Could be a divine connection, a karmic connection, or as the card says, some type of past life connection. Um, so whoever pops into your head, if no one pops into your head, it's not someone you know yet, uh, Gemini's, but I feel like there is, your energy is shifting, but it's, it all starts with how you view yourself. It's, it's going to be like that anytime you, you watch a reading or you get a reading, you have to understand that the readings or tarot readings go by your energy. Okay, a lot of people don't realize that. Like the, the reading is picking up on your energy. Okay, so if the tarot reading is saying, um, I'll give you an example because anytime you get like some something good or good news, you have to do the work. That means you have to do the you have to have the mindset shift, you have to do the physical work. So say for instance, you know, we do a reading, right? And you're like, Will I will I uh, win some money on the lottery? And I pull some cards and I'm like, yeah, I'm seeing you go, you're, you'll win some money. And you never go out and buy a ticket again. Are you going to win anything? <laughs> no. So I feel like you, you have to have a balance between 
the spiritual side of things and the physical side of things. That's the magician card as above, so below. You you have to do the physical work, um, but it, it does start mentally, right? So whenever you're getting stuff in the readings and you're like, well, I don't see this yet and I don't this and that, it's, it's because you need to shift. You need to do some type of shift, uh, Gemini, in order to get what you want. It's not YouTube's fault. It's not the readers on YouTube's fault that you're not getting what you want. It's not your readers' fault you're not getting what you want. It's your fault that you're not getting what you want. It's because you're not doing the work, um, Gemini's. But I'm seeing amazing potential here. And if you're looking for love, you have a new love here coming, but you have to start looking at yourself in a different way. Y'all remember that video um, where I was talking about how you can prepare for love? If you say you want marriage, you can prepare for that uh, mentally. But I also gave you like some physical ideas, like going to buy you a, a ring that you like. Make sure you get one that you like. It doesn't have to be expensive, okay? Just go get a ring, um, you know, from your local beauty supply store. Go on Amazon and and wear the ring, like and act like you marry. You know what I'm saying? When you're when you're doing your meditations and stuff, visualize you're having uh, your your perfect partner. Um, you know, nobody's perfect, but somebody can be perfect for you. All right, visualize having your perfect partner. Make sure your bed is clean. If you want to live with somebody, make sure there's nobody. There, there's oh, since there, make sure there's nobody. <laughs> Not nobody in your bed, but that might that might be a blockage too. Okay, but make sure there's nothing in your bed. Make sure you don't have your work on the other side of your bed. Make sure the other side of your bed is clear. Like clean up a space in your room for another person. You know what I mean? Like actually prepare, prepare for your uh, partnership and you will receive it, okay? So I feel like this is what this is. Like it's, it's so much potential here, Gemini, for you to get what you want, but just make sure that you, are, you aren't seeing yourself. Holy fucking shit. Then I look over and see 1212. Wow. Gemini's, you have love coming in. <laughs> Yes, I love it. You have love coming in, but you have to make sure that you are doing the work, uh, Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. This is exactly what I'm talking See, this is what I be talking about. This is what I be talking about, Gemini. <sighs> okay, Ten of Wands. Some of you are burdened by your negative thoughts. Please, Gemini, work on how you see yourself. Okay? Work on how you see yourself because if you change how you see yourself or if you change how you see love, even if you have to go to get therapy or go to a counselor or someone that can help you, um, some of you need a mindset shift, like it just automatically, automatically completely. Um, but this can also be to like you becoming aware of your pain so you can heal it. Okay, so there's there's multiple ways to look at that, um, Gemini's. Okay, mm-hmm. The Hermit, some of you self-reflecting, doing the work, love it, becoming emotionally independent, love it, because that is going to be the key to finding what it is that you want. Now, the thing is, sometimes the self-love the self -love stuff gets kind of uh, misconstrued, okay? Just because you love yourself, it doesn't mean you don't want a partner, Okay, you can love yourself and desire partnership. But but the first thing that you should be doing is is uh, making sure that you are the best person that you can be. So you can be a good partner to someone, to someone else, um, Gemini, by taking care of yourself. How you treat yourself is ultimately teaching other people how to treat you. 14, 14, when I look at the clock. So if you're not treating yourself well, or if you see yourself in a negative light, Gemini's, it's going to be hard for people to, um, it's going to be hard for people to um, see you that way. High priestess, or for you to manifest it. Yeah, thank you, spirit, the magician, love it. It's going to be hard for you to manifest what, what you desire, um, Gemini's. Yeah, you're manifesting. Somebody might be doing spells on you too, so... I'd be careful of that, uh, Gemini's. Now, these cards, these cards fell face down. 
Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you may have a self-sabotager here. So I don't know if it's you or if it's somebody in your energy. Be, um, now, this, this could be affirmations too. The High Priestess with the Magician, it could be affirmations. You're doing affirmations, you shifting yourself. Um, but this could also be, like I said, you know, somebody could be doing spells. You're doing spells. Gemini's to to try to um reel someone in you know don't do that <laughs> seven of pentacles don't do that four of pentacles we saw this in the last reading as well yeah um yeah Gemini's I do see something turning out um positively something you may have not even thought that will what would work out but I'm seeing, Gemini's, that you're you're needing to learn how to kind of balance yourself. It, it's only so much spiritual stuff you can do before you have to actually start doing um, doing things in, in the 3D, uh, Gemini's. So, and again, this may not represent you. This may represent someone in your energy that's like trying to do spells on you or trying to manifest you but it's it doesn't work that way like you you can't try to manifest without putting any type of uh physical work into it and i feel like this is could be what what could be going on here but have the spread has a lot to do with um with uh what the card is saying, especially here with the Empress and the High Priestess, like you need to learn how to see yourself differently. See yourself as somebody. If this is what you, if this is what you want, okay. If this is what you want, just completely disregard it, okay. But see yourself as happily married. See yourself in a healthy connection. Behave that way. You know, do the inner work so you can come into a, con a connection ready to give. Um, and, and look at your own toxic behaviors as well uh so you can know how to navigate those going forward okay everyone's going to have their triggers everyone's going to have their issues you're not going to be perfect before you get into a connection no one is right but are you going to be equipped to deal with those difficult things when you're in the connection gemini's i feel like that's what could be going on here but change the way that you see yourself okay change the way you treat yourself and everything around you will follow suit if you if you work on your self worth and your self value, the people around you have no choice but to adjust. <clears throat> and some of you may need to um, do do some physical activities as well. But I, I do see like some there could be some hurt coming up uh, from the past for some of you. But I feel like it's it's to. Um, it's to uh, help you move forward, Gemini. It's to help you heal. So sometimes those are it's painful though. <clears throat> when that stuff starts coming up, it's very very painful. Okay. Let's just get a couple of these because I'm not gonna. Um. Wow. 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 Uh, Okay, so we have Anam Kara. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but y'all know. Okay, yep, yeah, y'all can see that. So this one is unconditional love, romance, soulmates, uncommon bond, devoted, always, tenderness, timeless, constant, affection, best friends, appreciation, unchanging, and infinite love. Infinite love is, is a, a past, gives past life a situation, uh, a karmic soulmate type thing, especially with the wheel of karma. But with the Isis, it says that there is some type of past life connection you have here, something very spiritual um, that you could be learning from. Some of you are just not, you're preparing. I feel like with this, what Spirit is saying right now with this is you need to prepare for this mentally physically emotionally you need to prepare for this even if you already know this person and the connection is not to its full capacity or the capacity that you want it in you there's more work that you need to do um gemini's okay then we have the will of uh, karma okay all right this is gemini of course this is karma dharma destined inevitable cause and effect divine intervention cycles luck fortune rise and fall circumstance consequence 
blind will, uh, blind will, divine will, and blind justice. And then we have diamond, which is Aries, creative force, faithfulness, value, perfection, brilliance, commitment, light, purity, esteem, unconquerable force, multidimensional. Literally, the magician is multidimensional. Um, multifaceted, invincible spiritual power so like i said something very very spiritual with this whole thing but it's going to start with you though um gemini's okay thank you for watching hit those likes hit that subscribe peace out